Today we're going to talk about how to stay in posture throughout your golf swing and everything you need to know about using side bend throughout your swing. I thought it would be a perfect time to do this because Joaquin Neiman just won the Genesis Invitational and nobody side bends as much as he does. Before we get into this video, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up. It helps the algorithm, helps more people see this video. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. All the support here on YouTube has meant the world to me. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Staying in posture throughout your golf swing is so important. What do we see from most amateurs? Most amateur or high handicap golfers will stand up through impact, early extend, that slows down your rotation, calls for really bad, inconsistent contact. So staying in posture is so big. Whatever posture we are at address is the posture we wanna keep throughout our entire golf swing. This is gonna to lead to more consistent strikes, it's gonna to lead to better rotation and more power. Okay, so one thing that we talked about a little bit is side bend, okay? What is side bend and why do we need it? Well, a good illustration here is if we were standing straight up in our golf swing, things would be a lot easier, okay? More like a baseball swing, what I can do is I can just rotate my body left and right, okay, my upper body and my lower body, up and right, all day with no problem when I'm standing straight up. Here's the issue with golf, and one of the things that makes golf really hard, we're not standing straight up and down, okay? We're bent over at an angle. So, if we're rotating standing up straight like this, no problem, as soon as I bend over that angle, if I do that same rotation, what happens? My upper body will go left and right, okay? Just like my hand here, if I have my hand here, I can rotate it this way, no problem. As soon as I put my hand on an angle and rotate it, what happens? Okay, the hands go out to the left and out to the right. They don't rotate in a standard position anymore. Okay, so we get that illustration that if I start, as soon as I start bending over, my body goes left and right. That's why we need to add side bend in our golf swing as we rotate. So that if I were, I'm bent over here, and say I rotate back without adding side bend, my upper body is gonna get outside of my feet line here, okay? As soon as I add side bend, if I bend to my left side for a right-handed golfer in my backswing, that's gonna keep me, that's gonna put me back in the more centered and standard position. Okay, so for a right-handed golfer, as we rotate back, okay, right hip goes back behind us, left hip moves out towards the golf ball, okay? we're gonna be feeling more side bend in our left side here to stay in posture, okay? As we come down and rotate, our left hip on our downswing goes back behind us as right-handed golfers. That's when we're gonna feel bend in our right side here. Okay, this is one of the reasons why golfers, some golfers come over the top, okay? We talked about if we bend over and don't add side bend, what happens? our body gets out in front of us, our upper body gets out in front of us here, it gets outside of our feet line. So what happens there, if we don't add correct side bend on the downswing, the upper body gets in front, which causes this move, okay? So just by adding side bend here on the downswing with your right side, that can actually improve your swing path. Okay, so not everybody's gonna be able to bend <laughs> as much as Joaquin needed. I know if I tried to swing like him, I would probably break something. But it is nice to do these stretches, okay? Put your hands out, left hand goes above your head. You're gonna feel some stretch here, okay? Just bending to the side. So we're adding this rotation with this move. If you're somebody who does early extend, okay? One thing we can think of is that left hip goes back and I want you to feel a little bit of tension, okay, in this right side here. Okay, that's gonna keep our chest down. We talked about, I mean, we, have, we talked about in other videos how keeping our chest down is huge, right? To help us from early extending. If our chest stays down, we can't early extend. If our chest stayed down and we early extended, we would fall over. A good drill is club across the chest, chest drill. All we're doing is putting the club across the chest we're going in golf posture. We're gonna get a golf ball in front of us here. And what we're doing is on our backswing, we're bringing the butt into the grip 
and we were putting, pointing it at the golf ball. Okay, so I want those hips to open, right hip works behind us, and we're gonna feel a little tension here in our left side, and that's gonna be the left side bend, okay? As we rotate down, left hip goes back behind us, left knee goes forward this way, and then starts to extend. Shoulders rotate. Then we're gonna hit the head of the club, pointing at the ball. And we're gonna feel some tension here on our right side, okay? That's a great drill to help stay in posture. A lot of golfers talk about keep your head down. You hear a lot of people say that, which is not necessarily true. We more so want to keep our chest down. Okay, our head can rotate this way. So one thing that you'll see in Joaquin Neiman's swing is as he's at a dress, his head really moves this way. Okay, it's, it's almost parallel to the ground. It's not standing up okay and out of it okay if you're starting to look for your ball like this that's a bad thing but one good drill could be just be in posture here take some swings and feel like your right ear okay is going down at the ground okay your right ear is kind of pointing at your golf ball okay this movement here with the head going this way is going to help us rotate you see Dustin Johnson do that Dustin Johnson, a lot of times, if you pause his videos before he's hitting like a wedge, he'll actually, his face is actually looking at the target before he even hits the golf ball. Okay, so feeling like we're adding side bend here, the, the head is rolling this way as we rotate and move, that is really, really going to help you stay in posture and hit better, better golf shots. So remember, we can't just rotate. All right, we can't just rotate like we're standing straight up and down. I wish that was the case. If we played golf like this, it would be much easier, especially for me. We have to understand our body as we rotate the lower body, the upper body rotates as well. We're gonna add side bend, okay, on our backswing, and we're adding side bend on the way through. We're letting the head rotate this way. Early extension is something that I've really struggled with in my game. It's not easy to fix it. Okay, but it just takes a lot of work. Starts from scratch. It starts with the stretching exercise. A lot of people don't rotate correctly because they don't have enough mobility in their golf swing. So make sure you adopt a stretching routine that you're going through every day. If you're serious about improving your game, work on things in your house. Work on the club across the chest drill. This is a, this is a drill that you can do in your home. Okay, work on getting the rotation uh, proper that the left hips working back left knees going left and then extending one thing i'll do at home is i'll just do a bunch of drills here where i just do this movement okay and practice my movement through impact just in front of the mirror okay i'll do a bunch of those and then i'll do it the other way left-handed where i'm trying to get my belt at the target okay the hips go back and the final piece to the puzzle we said side bend if you had to drink every time I said side bend in this video, you'd be hammered right now. <laughs> but yeah, that's the final piece, is bending at the side. Like I said, there's no way I could do it. Like, Joaquin Neiman swings it, but it's getting better. We're gonna feel like our ear is going down towards the golf ball. Okay, we're gonna feel some tension here. The other drill that I wanted to mention that we can do we talked about this a lot, is this pre-setting pre -setting impact position. Okay, so we get in front of this ball here, right? We're gonna stand straight up and down. What's gonna happen? Our hips are gonna move towards the target, shoulder, chest towards the target, okay? Club is gonna stay here, arms closer together. We talked about that before in videos, how these arms being closer together closer together these arms are at impact with the irons the better so hips are open shoulders are open arms together here and what's the last piece wait for it side bend <laughs> right side bend down hands are in front side bend down right here we can get into this position hold it it's gonna hurt okay you're gonna, especially for those that don't rotate a, a lot in their golf swing 
something that I'm working on. You're gonna feel tension in different areas. It's okay to hold this position for a while, or you can hold it, okay, set up here, set up to the ball, stand up, open, open, hold this position, okay? And then we can go ahead and swing and hit an actual shot. I don't like to take full swing from this position, but I'd like to go back about halfway and hit a shot. So pre-setting pre -setting impact position, let's go. Okay, not great contact, but we're working our way up. I did feel that a little bit off the heel, and for me, off the heel means I'm staying down more. When I early extend, pull up out of it, that's when I hit shots miles off the toe. Okay, pre-shot, pre-set impact position, down, and go. That was way better, way better impact. So I hope this video helps you guys stay in posture a little bit more, rotate. This is something that if you do struggle with this, it is not an easy fix. This is something that requires a lot of work, but most of this work can be done in repetition in your house. These drills can be done at home, working on them at home, working on stretching routines is really, really gonna help you move better and hit better golf shots. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll be sure to answer them. And if you haven't already, give me a subscription. We are doing free videos like this every single week and we're gonna work to just help you guys play better golf, have more fun out on the golf course. That's what we all strive to do. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time guys.